Hello, welcome to the Tool for Forza YouTube channel. Captain Nasty is right here. In this video today, I'm going to be sharing a fix for inconsistent frame rates and long load times for users of Content Manager to launch Assetto Corsa. And uh, I made a previous video on that, but I'm going to clarify specifically what we're trying to fix here. So when I say inconsistent FPS, what happens here is that you can, let's say you freshly start your computer and you load a race, and let's say you're a VR user like me and you've got your settings tuned up so they lock at 90 frames and it's running great. Well, then you can quit out of that race and start up a race with the exact same content with no changes, and then all of a sudden your frame rate will be as low as like 60 FPS, which is unusable in VR. So this is specifically the problem I had uh, in conjunction with that, my load times would be longer. So I could tell I was gonna have these frame rate drops because it would take a long time for me to load my game as well. So if you have, if you always have a low frame rate situation in a set of Corsa, then this is not going to help you. I'll post a video link here to how to get your graphics settings set up in AC so you can hold 90 hertz or 80 hertz, whatever you need for your headset, or, you know, generally give you some help if you're running like a, um, a monitor that, you know, maybe, maybe doesn't hit the target frame rate you want. So that, that link is right here. Now that we understand the specific problem that we're trying to troubleshoot here, I'm going to go into you, uh, the, the solution here. So, we're going to make some changes to the uh, Windows registry, which is not something I have a ton of familiarity with. Uh, so I got some help from this on the custom shaders pass, patch discord from a fellow named Ali Viper and ran this by a few other people that are knowledgeable with Windows. And we've had a few members test this fix success successfully. Now, we have not tested this in the long term. We've just been testing for a couple of days. So, you know, I don't know... <laughs> It, you know, if this is like a long-term thing or a solution that you might have to repeat, you know, once in a while, but for now it's working very, very well. So we're going to go to reg edit, just type in the search bar and click enter, open this up. And we're going to go to the following path. I'm going to close all this stuff up so you can see where it's at. So we're going to go to H key local software, go down to Microsoft here. And you're going to go to FTH and you're going to go to state. Now, if you've got this problem, this is a dead giveaway. So if your machine looks like this, then this fix is not going to help you. I've already performed this fix, you know, so it's not showing here, but I have a picture. I'll show you what it should look like if, if this is going to help you out here. So if you see a set of Corsa ACS.exe listed here in this FTH state, then this fix should work for you. So what you're going to want to do is just click it when it's in here and just click delete and remove it. And that will get it out of this FTH state. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do so that it does not return is go up here to FTH. And where it says exclusion list right here, you're going to want to click on this. And ACS.exe will not be listed in here, uh, you know, at first. But you want to add ACS.exe right into this list and then hit OK. And uh, what that will do is it will essentially block acs.exe from getting put into this FTH state, which which for whatever reason, is kind of like a naughty list. And, you know, I, I'm not totally sure what the FTH state does, you know, but I know what it means essentially is that a program that's had problems or been crashing a lot, it'll get put there. And I think sometimes the way you close races in Content Manager, it, it, it's somehow... Windows doesn't like that, and I think that's what gets, put, gets it put here, but I'm kind of speculating there as well. So anyways, once you've done that, hit OK. You're going to get a little error that looks like this. Uh, it'll say, you know, reg multi SC cannot contain empty strings. Uh, apparently, that's no big deal. You just click OK, uh, and that should be all set. Now, the last thing, you have to restart your computer for this to take effect. So do a, you know, don't, don't just, like, put it to sleep. Like, do a full, you know, full restart, and then that should be it. So, again... We've only been testing this solution for a couple of days, you know, but it's really has been working great for me so far. You know, if this issue rears its head again, you might have to come back in here and just do this again, but it's pretty easy. And uh, lastly, if this fix worked for you, please click thumbs up and please leave me a comment whether it did or did not work in the uh, comments below. Now, if, if you say it didn't work, I, I hope that you can understand that we're specifically trying to solve this inconsistent frame rate thing where... One minute, you've got 90 hertz. If you quit that race and come back, then you've got 60. There's there's something clearly is wrong in that situation. So if that was specifically your problem and this either fixed it or did not fix it, please put a comment below so other people can help find this video. And hopefully we can get this to Ilya, uh, the creator of Content Manager, and you know have him maybe maybe fix it in the long run so this isn't a thing uh, for, for users of the software going forward. That's it for this video, guys. If you're looking for a fun 
sim racing community and you're of the age of 25, come join us in Discord and Toll for Forza. We race a bunch of different stuff on AC. We have an SRS event. And uh, we're just we're always looking to keep our Discord uh, fun and have lots of people to hang out with in there. This is Captain Nasty's out.